So, in the post uh, yesterday came this box. Now I've opened it, I haven't actually looked inside yet because I wanted to open it with everyone else. Um, basically, I've been on eBay, I've ordered this motor. It was already in the UK. Oh, it's got a spider. Oh, it could be from China. Oh, doesn't look dangerous. We should be all right. Let's just put him over there. Anyone seen uh, Arachnophobia? <laughs> so, yeah, I haven't actually properly looked inside yet, but yes, look at that. So this was off eBay, but it was already in the UK, really well priced. It was about 138 quid, including uh, VAT. Uh, and we've got this motor here. Oh, blimmin' it, it's pretty, pretty heavy. Jesus Christ. Okay, it's attached to everything else, that's why it's so heavy. Here we go. Um, right, here we go, here's the grips. Um, and we've got the key there, got the keys, uh, ignition rather, um, and we've got the uh, uh, the lights there showing the battery, which is good. It's quite simple. I mean, there are more, uh, there are better ones out there. Um, so Craig, who uh, who's already got one of these EV converted aerial threes, he's got a digital readout which looks a lot smarter. This is heavy. This is. Wow. Okay, what else we got in here? Ooh, tools. Yeah, I need some of them. So let's just have a look at this then. So this is the controller. And this is the motor. Vevor. This is uh, obviously a 250 watt motor. Um, of course. And uh, here is the uh, controller. Vevor as well. I've not heard of Vevor. I think I need to do a bit of uh, Maybe I should have done the research before I bought it, but no this was this seemed to be the best uh, for the money, right? So we've got a uh, Voltage 48 volts current 34 amp brake low level controller and the motor and Yeah, we've got a few bits and bobs in terms of Allen key and bits we need and yeah, here we have the handles. So uh, luckily, it's all nicely labelled up. Look, reverse, brake lamp, three speeds, not sure what that's for. Uh, brakes, that's obviously for the rear light throttle, that'll be needed. Chagging port, ooh. Sex, yes please. Not sure what a chagging port is. I'm guessing they're uh, thinking changing, uh, charging, so I'm at it now. Indicator light brakes, and let, there's quite a few brake ones there, so that'll be interesting to check out. Um, I haven't seen any instructions. Oh dear. Well, that'll be uh, fun. Trial and error. That's, uh, that's what we're gonna go with. Um, let's get these out. This looks, uh, looks interesting. Make sure the wire's long enough, keys, there we go. Yeah, hopefully they will fit what's there. I'm sure we'll be able to get something going on. And then the keys. Yeah, so all that's missing now is a battery and the know-how, because uh, I definitely haven't got that. So here we are, here are all the bits. So. Mistakes are going to be made. Let's hope I don't break anything so I don't have to pay for any of this lot again. But yeah, let's, uh, let's get cracking. As you can see, I started in the shed with very little space, very little know-how. Um, I managed to pop on the throttle, managed to get the old handlebars off and met, do a few measurements and you know work out roughly where I was going to put the motor, uh, pretty much copying Craig's one, to be honest and then realized it really wasn't getting anywhere and I needed to call the cavalry. But here's a few snippets of what I did um, and on to actually making some proper progress in the garage. Oh wow, it does fit. That is a Brucey. Let's see if there's any adjustment there. There is adjustment there with a Allen key. Allen, Allen? But is it the right Allen? No, it's not. Shoot, yes. Look at that! Ring, ring! Oh no, it won't make that noise, will it? 
Zippy, zippy. Yeah, but I want to build something. I mean, I'm very good at building. I don't know. I'm not sure what sort of noise it's going to make. But it's going to make a cool noise. Look at that. Yes. So, uh, we are... Well, I say we. Myself and a good friend Vinny, because... Uh, yeah, I got a bit stuck with the E-Trite project after I decided I didn't have enough tools or any of the things that I needed. So uh, I've asked a good friend of mine, uh, Vinny. Say hello, Vinny. Howdy, Chargers. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, we we're uh, going to get started on the E-Trite project. We've got everything prepared. We've swept up all the tools. We've got all the bits. We've got the sprocket and the chain. Uh, the sprocket's the same size as the original. Um, uh, which is uh, attached to the wheel already, so that should be good. We've got a battery, used battery there. Um, but yeah, let's see how we get on and uh, try and get, get some progress while we're going along with it. So uh, because I'm not very good at explaining these type of things, uh, especially at the moment, uh, just post COVID, my brain's still a little bit fuzzy. So apologies for that. We're going to get Vinny to explain exactly. Oh, good. Well, yes, <laughs> that's it. We're going to explain uh, exactly what's happening here with what we've got uh, to uh, to get it working. So go on, Vinny, tell us how it's, how so, it's done. As you can see, we've got the bits just temporarily placed in there just to give us an idea of spacings and things. We've already had the cowling here just to uh, make sure we've got enough space. So the current plan is that we'll have the motor approximately here. Obviously we'll tidy up these brackets a bit nicer than that so they don't look like we did it in the garage. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> That's fine. Garages are F for exactly that sort of thing. If we've got other things lined up, that, oh, let that, me, that uh, lets us, uh, this lets us line the gears up. Obviously they may not be exactly there. We're just uh, temporarily putting it there just to get spacing on stuff. So what we're going to do, we're, uh, we'll chop these down, make a nice little support for the motor there. We'll get the sprockets tied together and then we can get the chain lashed up and then we can start doing some electric things. Excellent. So sparks everywhere. Yes. <laughs> danger. But that's what we're all about here. What, danger? No, there's... <laughs> <laughs> Using some electrics. Well, it's only danger if I'm, uh, yeah, getting involved no, too I'll much. I'll keep you out there then. There we go. Well, I'll stay outside the garage. <laughs> but yeah, no, we just... Uh, I need to pop to the shop to get a uh, chain separating tool, which is the only thing that we haven't got. So I'll pop down the shops and get that. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's carry on. While I saw uh, Vinny putting the two sprockets together, they are sprockets, aren't they? They are sprockets. Oh, I'm getting this terminology right down to T. They're not inside a gearbox. There we go, sorted. <laughs> so uh, what are you doing here? So are you trying to line up the uh, the sprockets? So I'm just having a little look at them at the minute. Um, we're going to have to obviously make sure they're centred because we don't want one wobbling around like this when it's turning round. They're going to be they're going to be tied together. So we've got the original drive that runs off the spline just over here. So this is the the nice way of doing it rather than uh, completely Heath Robinson in it. Who's Heath Robinson? Heath Robinson. Oh, let's not start talking about okay. Heath Robinson. Just Google it. We're doing just this Google professionally. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're just uh, we're just having a little look. We obviously we're going to space them apart a little bit. Yep. Uh, so we can get the chain on there, and then we'll uh, we'll bolt them together. That seems like the nicest way. And then if you need to change the gearing at any point, you can uh, take that one off and replace it with a different size. Yes, because the one that I've been on, uh, the gear is bigger. There's more teeth. So that will so... give you. Sl uh, sorry, that'll give you more torque on your wheel, but uh, you won't have as high top speed. But we'll see. This is uh, this is having a little play with it to see what your motor can do. Obviously, that's untested at the moment. Yes, this uh, is what... the this is the two hundred and fifty watt motor. Um, <coughs> for legal reasons, <laughs> that is the two hundred and fifty watt. That's all you need to know. All you need to know. There we go. Because it's going to be an e-trite, which is legal. So uh, it's yeah, 250 watts. So there what? we go. What? <laughs> <laughs> Enough said. All right, let's carry on. Yes. Vinny's idea, which uh, I think is a good one, um, is we've got the original sprocket here, and we're going to weld these bolts in. Nuts. Ah, oh, nuts. I mean, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna weld these nuts in, um, and then put bolts. There we go. Uh, through there. 
to attach to this. Obviously with this, we're gonna have to drill uh, in these places here and then clamp it together. So at the moment, we're using uh, this to uh, basically get away, uh, get uh, some of this rust out of the way so the weld will uh, attach a bit better. Uh, we're hoping that's gonna work, aren't we? Hoping. <laughs> Hope is not a strategy. I've told you that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that went. This is a strategy, so yeah, let's hope it works out. I mean, it will work. <laughs> <laughs>